We have here uh, in our shop at Chester Tractors a uh, 1964 Alice Chalmers D15 Series 2 that uh, belongs to a family uh, down in Oklahoma and they brought it up here to have it uh, fully restored in a like new condition and it was uh, it's been in their family since it was purchased new in 64 and it means a whole lot to them they've uh, farmed with it all these years and used it uh, out on the farm and doing all kinds of different jobs with it but you can see it's in uh, somewhat rough condition the uh, actually came in with this left rear tire here was uh, completely flat the rim was rusted out from the calcium chloride but we've put a spare on there for right now to hold it up while we do the work on it got new rims for it all the way around we'll put new tires on it also but uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the condition of it as it came in here the motor still runs it runs fairly decent uh, uh, but it's got lots and lots of hours on it and uh, you'll notice uh, a few dings and dents here and there as I go around it the fenders are this left one's in pretty bad shape but uh, I believe we can salvage it and make it look like new when we get all done with it it's not rusted out it's got a little surface rust on it here and there but overall it's a pretty sturdy strong fender yet notice on the back uh, it's got the uh, factory three-point hitch on it here and we got to do some work on that to get it all straightened out and looking good and you'll notice the right fender here it's in reasonably good uh, condition yet and the uh, right side of it here will show a little bit kind of limited on our area here in our shop but, uh, the dash uh, some of the gauges have been replaced earlier and the traction booster gauge we're going to have to replace it and probably the others put all new ones in there and the string wheel and all that will be replaced and I wanted to show you uh, the front end here again and some other things on the other side grill will have to be straightened out and we'll try and get a new one for that actually and, and uh, put a new grill in. The right side hood uh, came in, we have it, but it's pretty well rusted through and in pretty bad shape. I don't know if the battery did that or just what, but we're going to have to replace it. The uh, battery holder there is in real bad shape, it's got to be replaced. And uh, you'll notice here on the transmission uh, kind of a common problem with the, some of the D-series tractors. I don't know how the lighting is, and if you can see this real well, but on the gear shift over there, you'll see some bailing wire, and that's a sign that it jumped out of some gear. Usually it's third, but this one here will jump out of second, third. But anyway, we've got to tear it down and replace uh, gears and bearings and seals and things inside that transmission. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a, a view here of this uh, old D15, and uh, we'll kind of give you some more pictures of it, film of it as we go along in the process of restoring. We, probably next week we'll get it split apart and see what all we need for parts in it and we'll go from there. Well here we are a few days later and we have the D15 completely disassembled. Uh, you see the motor laying here on this table getting ready to tear it down and over here to the left is the uh, torque tube we've taken out got to do some work on some things there put some seals in this and that and over here we got the grill the radiator rear tire off of it and uh, here's the left rear axle housing and down here is the remainder of the rear end and the the high low assembly sticking out on the front of the transmission housing and uh, we knew we had some gears and bearings and things to replace in the rear housing but then when we got into that we discovered that the uh, ring gear and pinion were also bad so we've got to replace that entire unit in the rear end and uh, it looks like quite a quite an operation going here with parts laying all around and we've pretty well got things sorted out we got to start cleaning up and uh, find out just what parts we need to order get things on order and as I turn around here to the uh, table again, you'll notice uh, some of the gears we've taken out. Second and third gear were extremely worn, and uh, everything on the pinion shaft, all the gears on the pinion shaft, and bushings and that we're going to be are we going to replace in it. And here's the uh, 
Ring gear and pinion, you'll notice on the uh, pinion how the teeth are worn down on it. And also on the ring gear, extremely worn. And really couldn't tell this uh, under a light load, uh, just driving the tractor around, how badly worn that was. But anyway, we're going to have to replace that entire assembly. And then we'll uh, get the parts ordered, get the parts in, and put it all back together. And then we'll take another video of it here in a few days. Well, here we are at Chet's Tractors on this uh, beautiful May day, and the uh, sun is shining, temperatures are going to be in the 70s, uh, most of the corn has been planted, although it's been somewhat wet season, and they got started a little late, but uh, pretty well finished up with the corn, and a lot of the soybeans have been planted, but uh, we want to show you uh, a film of the D-15, once we got all the parts ordered, parts have come in, and uh, it's been completely reassembled and uh, the tractor looks like it did way back there in 1964 so hang on here and we'll drive the tractor out and show you show it to you as it looked years ago Hard to believe it's the same tractor. Uh, you'll notice uh, everything has been redone on this tractor from uh, front to rear. And I won't go through the whole list of all the parts that we installed in the tractor, but uh, it runs like brand new, uh, complete new engine in it, transmission, rear ends all been gone through the final drives, uh, new rims, tires, and tubes all the way around. And all the minor uh, detailed things on it have been replaced. But uh, what a beautiful tractor this is, and uh, hang on here and I'll take the camera around and show you the other side of it. Everything's just as straight as can be, the uh, front grille we've uh, redone, the right side hood uh, we replaced with, a, with another one, uh, and uh, you can just see how well this job was done and uh, I'm sure the folks are real proud of it and just like it was years ago when they purchased it brand new we got a shot of the uh, rear of it with the three-point hitch and the seat and the lights and the fender and we actually uh, worked on the fenders and straightened them out and, and uh, Got them as nice as could be. I don't know how the lighting's coming out on this, but uh, it is a real sunny and bright morning here in uh, West Central Illinois. And uh, it's that time of year when the uh, morel mushrooms come out. And when that happens, why, uh, when the morel mushroom season gets here, we just kind of drop everything and head for the wood. Top of the tractor, you'll see uh, we've got acres and acres of timberland and uh, lots of morel mushrooms this year and you'll notice over here I have a few in the bucket I picked yesterday morning I just went out for a little bit and and to see what was out there and uh, it, it was late season they didn't come out as early as they normally do but uh, uh, here it is getting into May and they're still coming out well so anyway back to the tractor uh, we're going to be delivering this tractor back to the folks in Oklahoma uh, later this week. And uh, if you want to contact them about the tractor and the job we did, why well, you're welcome to do that and just contact us here at uh, Chad's Tractors and we'll let you uh, have the information.